Easy. I just want to remind you. Uh, what are you showing me? Mm -hmm. Oh, be careful you don't tear up your chair doing that, honey. You need to have it on uh, two pieces of board. Like, here. Get one of those logs. I know, but you could break your chair. If you'll get one of those boards, I can show you something. Yes, I see that. It's cool. I just threw it. And what are you doing, Kitty? Where's Rocks at? Rocks is way there. Where? That's Rocks. No, oh, it ain't. Yes, it is. That's Lefty. Well, where's Lefty? <laughs> lefty is there. Lord have mercy. Are you sure? Yes. I'll I have to. I'll know for sure once I see this one's little back. What are you doing, little kitty kitty? You rotten little kitty kitty. You no, rotten. Lefty. Lefty. You rotten little kitty kitty. You're so lazy. You're so lazy. I can feel his praying. So what what you got going on up here? Um, Over here. We still got to figure out the roof situation, huh? And no roof. You don't want to have a roof? Uh -uh. Okay. And you teach me about soft for that? Soft? Yeah. You what make you? a soft and you put like three on two get her like that. Hmm. Like I'm not exactly sure what you're talking about. Tell me again. Yeah. And that's why you can build. Oh, you mean for a flat roof out of those logs? Yes. Oh, okay. I think I know what you're talking about. Um, well, what I was talking about earlier in the roof is kind of like, they call it bushcraft. And it's a shelter that you make out in the middle of nowhere when you don't have a house and it's oh I'm having a hard time explaining it right now what well we remember this morning when we started the video that messed up I'll have to post it in like part one and part two because that video messed up. Remember when I told you that we're going to have to figure out how to do the roof and we got to get all... But my mommy was talking. Let me get done talking, okay? Remember when I said we got to get all our stuff together and that was the first thing we're supposed to do? Well, we didn't do that because we didn't have a roof. We didn't have the stuff for our roof. And then when we changed, well, we changed it a couple of times, and then I decided the best idea, based on not having any branches with leaves, was to use those plastic bags, remember? Mm -hmm. And then that didn't work out. So, <clears throat> until, unless and until we find something, we're just going to have to do like you said, not have a roof. <clears throat> well, leaves. yeah, like this one right here. See this branch right here, right above your clubhouse? Yeah. That one would actually be perfect, but I think we're going to have to have Daddy get up there and cut it down because I don't think I should get up there with the ladder to do it. Who's up there? Nobody. It's a pecan that fell. Hmm. Are you talking about putting logs together and then the stuff that goes in between yes. to make it to stick it together yes okay and you teach me about that and you 
Yeah, we'll have to do that. Um, we have to get all the supplies together first, and I gotta figure out what all we need. Okay. Um, we need a hammer or something. A hammer, yeah. We'll need a hammer and. Like a chainsaw. Well, mommy don't use chainsaws. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little above my pay grade. But there's all kinds of stuff we need. Can you show me do it? Because those are, yeah, when it, I can't right now because we don't have the stuff. Mm -hmm. See, the stuff you were talking about are tools. We need material. We don't need tools. Are you listening to mommy? Yes. We need material. Material is different than tools. Watch out, baby. You're right there by your neck with that. Material is the items used to build it. it like, um, I wish you would leave that alone. But like good. the wood, nails, um, concrete. That's material. Tools are the hammer, the saw, stuff like that. So we've got to make sure that we have all the right material before we start a project. Yes, that, that's going to stay like that. <sighs> well, see, you got to make sure it's sturdy. Oh, that ain't sturdy. See, it could fall like that and land on a kitty cat's head. And then, well, we know what's going to happen like that. So let's put it somewhere where it's safe, okay? Well, see, it's not safe. Wiggle it. And you can fall down. Because you know how they are. They jump up and climb and are silly. Yeah. I, uh -huh. That's give me an idea. Um, I hope it stays. Wiggle it. Stop wiggling. Mm -hmm. See? That's why it's good to, to do the wiggle test, see? It could have fallen and hurt him. So let's not leave that like that. Why don't you lean it up against... He's going to poop right there. <laughs> lean it up against the fence and lean it up against, you know, the, the ground and the fence. And then they can climb like that. So I'm trying to make a video, Bubba, yes. of showing people how how we do some of our homeschool. Yes. And this is part of it when we learn how to do different projects and and how we do math by collecting logs and. Can you give me that? The log. Oh, don't drop that, Bubba. That was not safe at all. That could have hit the cat. What's that on you? That's on the way there. No, we didn't. So, how many logs did you carry over here? Do you remember? Um, I don't know. I don't know. You don't remember? I can't hear you. What? I don't know. I got a thousand or two thousand. I don't think you have a thousand. Like one thousand or something. Okay. Well, I need you to be serious here and not play. I know. Aha! That give me an idea. Mm hmm I need to move these out of the way and put that there. And I need to make it taller. And Check his wiggle. Clean is not falling down. Is that falling down? It's not falling down, mommy. Yeah. You gotta wiggle it. I did already. Try to wiggle this part. Let's see, that concerns me. I can still stop it. Okay. So, this whole, the whole purpose 
of this particular video is I wanted to show people how we do some of our homeschooling. And this project was supposed to be um, building a, a small shelter, but you're too much like your daddy and you couldn't handle just the tiny little one I wanted to do. You went and got these big old logs from the backyard. Did you count to see how many logs you had that you brought over? Um, I can't. I, I can't these in. No, did, what I'm asking you is, did you count the logs? No, not last night. I'm talking about right now. Count them for me. See, this is where we were supposed to build right here but again he's too much like his daddy he started I'm out. okay he started uh, getting all kinds of bigger and better ideas so next thing I knew he was in the backyard gathering up the, the log that his daddy had cut the other day from when that tree decided it was gonna fall Put them all in here. One. I counted 15. I, I think it's, I will, the was there. Right. Okay, I'll be back. are so bad. There's something under here I'm allergic to. Every time I come over here, my nose starts running. Eyes start watering. I wonder if it's a pecan tree. What's left of it? We ain't had pecans out of this tree in a couple of years. When they do fall, they're rotten. Kind of sad. Thirteen. Okay. And fourteen. And there's a little one. Okay. There's sixteen of them. Okay, I didn't count that one right there. So it's that kind of type of thing that I'm not trying to pass off counting logs for, you know, 15 seconds as a math lesson. Nothing like that. It's just part of, of what we do while we're, while we're doing our projects. What? Oh, okay. Well, I gotta wrap up this video, okay? Then I'm gonna go back in the house. Be real careful not to knock the fence down. Alrighty then. So, very cool. So, alright. So I'm not trying to pass that off as a math lesson, nothing like that. It's just a very small part of um, that particular project. When we're doing 
baking for baking cookies or like we made brownies the other day you know he helps me measure out stuff and we look at it we talk about it um, it may sound silly it, it may sound um, non-productive but it's actually very productive and I it causes you to do more stuff with your kids actually because what am I trying to say here goodness you're making me fall down Betty trying to explain what I'm trying to say here and I'm just having a terrible time <clears throat> there's just all kinds of ways that we learn now sometimes it is just a matter of counting logs in one particular um, instance but it's throughout the whole day that's what you got to keep in mind um, when we're cooking meals when we're going to the store when we're taking the trash out when when you do every day of the week normal things that's when we take opportunity to learn to teach him things. It could be something as silly as um, seeing a flower on the side of the road and um, talking about it and learning about it. And that learning about that particular flower might turn into a what did our ancestors, which were the Cherokee Indians, what did they used to eat what did they use to make bowls with I mean there's just so much stuff and you have to get creative and it makes you think oh kitty 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 get out of the way kitty 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 it uh, it makes you think and it makes you get more creative and Aside from the fact it's a lot of fun to spend time with your child like that. Well, that's why you need to play over there with them. Because if they see you over here playing, they're going to play over here. But see, look, if you'll come over here, and if you're playing over here, then maybe they'll stay over here, you know? But we've got, there's a lot more um, examples that I want to show of how we homeschool. Mommy. This was just a very small piece you, of it. What? Put this back in the garage. Yeah. So, maybe not a great example, but um, I've just been really just chomping at the bit trying to, or wanting to, show an example of some of the things some of the ways we homeschool and that is again just one tiny little oh lord have mercy please don't be pregnant again she's looking kind of fat ain't she oh no oh no come here biddy come here come here come here oh no y'all oh no all right one of y'all's got to go tell Big Daddy I think she's pregnant again because that ain't going to be me. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. So I was closing up the video of, that I was doing and uh, I seen Biddy as I was coming back in the house and she was looking a little thick. I noticed that myself. <laughs> and I said, oh no. And so I said, y'all going to have to go in there and tell Big Daddy because I ain't telling him. <laughs> She ain't been out there that long, and I saw her yesterday.